My name is Koki Watanabe. I'm 16 years old. My father is a karate instructor. My grandfather is the master of Aikido. And my great-grandfather was... Anyway, I was born into a family full of talented martial arts fighters. And because of that, I also have learned many types of martial arts since I was young. I won many competitions for karate and Aikido until middle school, and often found myself having battles and fights with other youngsters as well. However, before I entered high school, my way of thinking changed drastically after I met a certain person. Early summer breeze, the sound of the flowing river, nature is the best. Now, I avoid having fights with others and try to live a peaceful high school life hiding my past. I always spend some quiet time with my pet turtle Kamikichi by the riverbed. You're so cute, Kamikichi. It's almost summer break, so let's visit home together, okay? Koki Watanabe, I finally found you! Uh, I looked all over for you! Come up here now! Oh, that's... Hurry! Oh, uh, okay. The person who suddenly talked to me was Louis Kobayashi, the gangster chief of a famous group from a nearby town. I've heard rumors of him before that he beat up all the bad delinquents in his town in just a few months and became the number one chief. I heard you've been winning all sorts of martial arts competitions up until middle school. I, I believe you are mistaking me for someone else. Quit pretending I've been collecting newspapers from different towns and investigating about you and your history. Why would you do that much? Because I want to battle with someone who's strong! There isn't anyone at my level in my town anymore! I want to become stronger! I'm sorry you had to go through all that investigating, but I decided to quit fighting, so I have to go now. Stop! Don't escape from a fight! You're running away with that weird turtle of yours! Oh! Uh, hey, what did you just say? What? Who are you calling slimy and disgusting? I won't forgive anyone who talks badly about Kamikichi! I didn't say that much, but if that makes you want to fight, perfect! So let's go! I see. So he is very fast, but he's putting too much unnecessary strength. Ha! <laughs> is dodging my attacks all you can do? I guess I'll give him one blow and end this. Uh, so he's a boy my age and is used to fighting like this, huh? Maybe this much strength would be enough. Uh, he's lighter than I thought. Uh, shit, I overdid it. Wait, why is he that light? No, no time to think right now. I have to go help him. Are you okay? With that, I hurried into the river and pulled the chief out. Luckily, the river was deep and he didn't have any injuries, but... No injuries, and he's still breathing. Phew. Uh... But... He has something a boy shouldn't have! He's a girl! Uh, was I thrown into the river? Um, leaving that aside... <gasps> Did you see it? W wow, uh, so you have a strong body, huh, Chief? Quit acting! You saw it, didn't you? My... S sorry, I did. I saw it and took a picture of it in my brain. You little... But, but why do you pretend to be a guy? Uh, I guess I can't help it since you found out. And I did lose after all, so... <sighs> I have three siblings, but I'm the only girl. Apparently, Louie was born as the youngest girl of a family of four older brothers, and she always felt left out because she was the only girl. Although her older brothers didn't mean any harm, they often left her out because she was a girl. As she lived her life like that, she started feeling inferior just because she was a girl. And that was when she started seeking for power. She learned how to fight on her own and became much stronger than her brothers by the time she was in middle school. And she continued to seek more power in high school. She hid the fact that she was a girl and made it up to the top chief. I don't want people to look down on me just because I'm a girl. I want to become stronger. I think you're already strong enough for a girl. Don't treat me like a girl! Uh, but, but you are! But for you to throw me off like that, you must be really strong! What kind of training do you usually do? Uh, well, I do have a master. Master? Yeah, and it's summer break, so I was planning on going to master for training. Oh, by the way, this turtle Kamekichi is a very important pet of mine that I got from my master. Good! Take me too! Huh? 
sorry I talked bad about your turtle, so please? My training was a two-week training camp. Even though I told Louie that the training was done in the middle of the mountains far away, Louie didn't back off. I gave in to her passion and reluctantly allowed her to tag along. The first day of summer break, we were standing on the foot of a mountain after an hour-long train ride. Of course, with a huge bag of luggage for the two weeks, we were to stay here, along with Kamekichi. Are you really going? The mountain trail is quite tough, you know. Of course! Your strong master lives here, right? Hurry and take me! Would everything be okay? With that, we headed for my master and went into the woods. I was already quite used to it because I often commuted here before I entered high school, but... <sighs> Should we rest a bit? Uh. Here, grab my hand. This is nothing! Don't treat me like a girl! That's not what I meant to do, but... Come on, let's go! We continued walking up the trail and finally arrived at our destination. Koki, where's your master? I want to ask him to fight with me right away, but... All I see is an old man fishing by the lake. Uh, th uh, that's him! Hey, master! I brought Kamekichi too! Oh, Koki! I'll go there right now! Huh? That old shabby man is your master? What the heck? He's running on water! Master lives a self-sufficient life here alone. And that's why he can run on water? I explained to Master about why Louis was here, and he was delighted to help us train. Louis imagined Master to be extremely strict, but his training was actually quite unique. First, we shall start with catching fish with our bare hands. Huh? Catching fish with your bare hands is the key to everything. Nature is the biggest training master. I don't understand it at all, but catching fish should be easy. A few minutes later. <laughs> Isn't it harder than you imagined? Oh, this is nothing. Ah! Louis! Are you okay? It's slippery here, so be careful. <laughs> You're treating me like a girl again. No, it doesn't matter whether you're a girl or boy. You're my fellow training ally. <gasps> Even after that, we would go through weird training like harvesting vegetables at top speed. However, as we went through such training and poured sweat in the midst of beautiful nature, I realized that Louis was making a variety of good expressions. And during the sunset, we ate the vegetables that we harvested and the meat that we caught. This was the best part of training in nature. This is the best fish I've ever had in my life! You have a great expression right now. Listen, the heart strength is much more important than the body strength. You have to be honest to yourself first. That is the key to everything. Honest, huh? Master really is amazing to take her to the verge of enlightenment. Well then, I'm off to a vacation with a hot lady with a nice body. Koki, I leave the house to you. You do what you want. Never mind. He was a ball of lust. Anyway, wasn't his house... That's right. Although he said house, it was more like a simple cottage. We did have electricity and running water, but the bath was outside. She probably wouldn't want to live in a place like this. Amazing! Looks like a place a hermit would live. I've always wanted to come to a place like this. Oh, oh, she has a childish cute side too, huh? Okay, Koki, let's try hard tomorrow too. Y yeah That day we were tired out and went straight to bed. However, there only was one futon. Of course, we tried to keep a distance from each other as much as we could, but there was no way we could go to sleep that easily. So... How did you and Master me, Koki? I heard a rumor that a hermit lived in the woods before I entered high school. Back then, I was seeking for power, but I changed drastically after meeting Master. Yeah, I understand how you'd want to follow his steps. Right? He's messed up sometimes, but I really respect him, so I hope you'd be able to change too. Uh -huh. w what's wrong? I'm a little cold. Oh. Master told us to be more honest with ourselves, right? This is part of our training, so don't misunderstand it. 
This might be the hardest training yet! With that, my day's training with Louis began. We went to catch fish in the morning, harvest vegetables, and enjoyed a hot pot together by the campfire at night. As we continued such a self-sufficient life, not only did we get closer, but the image I had of Louis also started to change. Louis hated being treated like a girl, so I also tried my best not to think of her as the opposite gender. However, as we spent days together, there were times I saw her girly sides. Uh. Over there, that <laughs> a giant spider. Oh, a spider. Okay, it's gone now. Uh, thanks. You don't have to cling on to me like that. You're scared of bugs, huh? Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to treat you like a girl. You don't have to apologize. Oh, oh? But, uh, well, now, go over there. I'm going to take a bath. Even after that, the more I tried not to see her as a girl, the more I became conscious about her. As time went by, it was almost the end of our training. I was feeling sad that my life with Louis was also coming to an end. Since she says she doesn't want me to see her as a girl, that probably means she doesn't see me as a man either. And then, on the night before our final training day, we were eating the fish we caught as always. Pokey. Thank you for taking me here. What? I now understand what Master wanted to say. I was trying not to face my heart's weakness by overcoming it with power. I realize now that I don't need to fight anymore. Uh, yeah, I think that's better. And uh, uh, I th thought I should quit aiming to be a man. Instead, I want to be a strong woman, so... I, I... I'm back, you two! Oh, Master! Wow, you got tanned! Uh... You're going home tomorrow, right? Ah, uh, here's a souvenir. A turtle key holder. Just when we were having a good time. And then the next day, before Master sent us off, he looked straight into our eyes and said some final important words. Listen, you two. You already have power. However, you must only use that power to protect the one you love. But, Master, where is the person I should love? <laughs> uh, that person might be somewhere much closer than you think. Huh? Not that I'm sure about it. <laughs> what the heck is that? After that, we got off the mountain and rode the train back to our local station. After departing here, we didn't have a reason to meet anymore. And that was the only thing I could think of. To calm my mind, I went to the bathroom. I have to tell her how I feel now, but how about Louie? Hey, you little chief. How cute you've become while you were away for a bit, huh? Oh. When I came back from the bathroom, Louis was being surrounded by the delinquents from the nearby town. Apparently, other delinquent groups were being active because Louis was away for two whole weeks. I tried to go and help her right away, but... Koki, did you forget what Master told us already? What? You're supposed to use your strength for the one you love. Don't worry about me. Use your power for someone you love. Uh, yeah, so that's why I'm helping you. Koki? Because you're the one I love, Louie. <gasps> <laughs> Don't take us so lightly. Come on, guys. Get them all at once. The delinquents came at us all together. However, it was honestly nothing compared to us, especially after all the training we went through at Master's Place. Nature-style art, ready for harvest. Nature-style art, the fishing fist. What <laughs> <laughs> are they? are too strong. Want to do it again? Ah, I, I'm sorry. Please let us go. <laughs> Softer than a freshly harvested tomato. F for sure. B but what you just said, Kogi. Of course I meant it. <gasps> I really enjoyed spending time with you, Louis. I was able to strengthen my heart with those two weeks as well. And I realized that I was thinking about you all the time. Kogi. I like you when you're girly, too. But I know you don't want me to say this. I don't mind. 
I really enjoyed spending time with you too. My heart got stronger and... I realized that I wanted you to see me as a girl. <laughs> Strange, right? Uh. It's the first time I feel this way, so I... I really don't know what to do. It's okay, Louis. It could be little by little, but you can start being more honest to yourself. And would you let me support you by your side, as a man? Hokey! Yeah, of course! You can look at me as a girl any time from now on! Oh, she, she's so cute! With that, we started dating each other. I know not much time had passed since we first met each other, but with the experience we had together in the woods, we were strongly attracted to each other. The person you are to love might be somewhere very close. You were correct, master. Was it because we showed off our weird martial art techniques? The delinquent gangsters didn't show up anymore, and Louis didn't have to fight at all. Peace was preserved. After that, Louis stopped hiding the fact that she was a girl. And she was now the Madonna of the town, instead of the feared chief. I, on the other hand, continued to love nature and my dear pet Kamekichi. Hey, how long are you planning on doing that? Forever! Even when I become a grandma! Oh, I know! Hmm? Koki, when we get married in the future, let's build a house in the woods. Uh, I also continue to love my dear Louis. my channel. I'm super happy if you watch the next and other videos too.